design of this, like the big box, kind of like a board ship. Yes, all new video cards look like spaceships. Hey, what's up? John Shred here, and today I'm gonna review this Asus Strix 4080. I'm gonna unbox the whole thing, uh, I'll put it in my system, uh, see how it fits, see how it compares to a 3080 in size. I have a 3080 Strix, and then also a 3090 Ti. Uh, an EVGA just to compare size and then I'll review and, and see the benchmarks and kind of get you an idea of what I think about the uh, the new Strix 4080. Welcome back if you're new to the channel thank you for joining. Um, I like to review different technology pieces right now video cards are top of my list. Now I have been receiving some comments of people saying oh I need to have a review channel to get cards I'm new. I mean, I have at this time about 550 subscribers. No one is sending me these cards. I am doing the work like everyone else to get my hands on them so that I can review them uh, and show you guys what they're all about. Um, if you want to know how I do it, I do have a video here uh, talking about how, you know, the tips and tricks that I use to acquire these cards. Uh, and it, it still works. Uh, that was for the 3000 series. This is for the 4000. It still works. I have a, I have a Strix. 4080 here, there's a, there's a 4080 FE right here, uh, a tough 4090 that I'll do, I'll do next. This is the, all things I was able to get this week. Um, so hopefully I can, I can get those reviews up and uh, stay tuned. But, okay, let's unbox this 4080 Strix. I, uh, I've been trying to get my hands on a 4090 without any luck, but um, let's see how the 4080 stands up to the rest. If you haven't seen, um, I recently did a video about the Zotec Trinity OC 4080. Check that out. I don't have that card anymore or else I'd do a side-by-side. -side. Abby's saying hi. Uh, let's pull this out. Now, you've probably heard me say before, the Strix is my all-time favorite card, especially now that EVGA is out of the picture. I mean, therefore, the win card is, is to me, neck and neck, but uh, now we are all about the Strix. So, uh, let's open this guy up. Okay, not bad, not bad. Uh. Mm. Okay, box looks Pretty basic. Let's see if there's a dongle adapter somewhere. Ah, buried way underneath here. Uh, as I figured, all 48s use three eight pin power connectors. And there is a card holder, it looks like. You can kind of screw that up and down for height. Interesting. Cool. I haven't seen that style before. Okay, let's take the adapter out. Don't need the instructions box okay all right so here is the card it is quite large as you probably already know when i get a 49 i would love to compare the two side by side okay you can go over there all right, let's take a peek. So far, so if you haven't seen the Strix design, they have definitely updated it since the 3000 series. Um, do I dig it? Mm, not sure yet. Not sure. I really did like the Zotac design, that updated design. This one, I'm still on the fence. Let's peel back a few things here. Okay, uh, what is notable? I mean, we know it's a two and a half slash three card slot. Definitely takes up two, but look at look at how wide that is. Um, we'll see how it gets in the computer. You have your 12 pin. Uh, right there. Cool, it does say G-Force across. The end is pretty 
pretty cool to me. It looks like it's almost like a button here at the end, but it's not, it's just some, some lights. Uh, back is pretty fancy. I mean, a lot of airflow. You can see a bunch of fins in here. PCB actually ends here. This is all just extra, extra heat sink. You can see here the fins go all the way through the card. Pretty cool. So, uh, okay, let me get a bit of B-roll for this. And then I can also go get the cards, the other cards to compare them. Um, 3080 and 3090 Ti. So, I mean, so far pretty cool. I'd love to get in a system and turn it all on, see how it looks with some lights. So let me go grab my um, my Snow White Lianli O11D Mini. I actually have an O11D XL that I'm building. It'll be my water cooling build. I'll probably end up putting this in there once I get I find an, an, an all-in-one cooler to just put in there until I get the loop figured out. Um, Cause yeah, but I could put this into uh, the Landley White Mini. So that, yeah, let me grab that and we will put it in. All right, I'm back. Here, here's my current case with a white Strix 3080 in it. Uh, so let's pop that out quick. Okay. Um, let's see if I have room. Uh, just to compare the size. Ugh, okay. Here's the 40. 80. Here's the 3080. Hopefully you can see that in the top down shot. Um, yeah, it's about an inch and a half longer and about a half inch thicker. Even about three eighths inch thick taller. Uh, so there's definitely a significant jump in size from a 3080 Strix to a 4080 Strix. So. Keep that in mind. Let's pop the 4080 into the case. Oh, here. How does it compare to a 3080 FE? I mean, it's it looks like a baby compared to it. Uh, this top down, I can can get it a bit here, but you're now almost like two inches difference. Uh, width wise, is is about the same, but there's a significant difference between the 4080 FE. Uh, and a 4080 Strix. Now, I'm going to put this case down because this is a monster. Okay. Oh. It just fits. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's get the adapter in here. is officially the biggest 4080. Uh, wow, I think this is, I, I mean, when I had that Zotac in here, I said there was, I don't, I don't know, it's probably about the same length as the Zotac, but the Zotac wasn't as thick through and throughout. Like this almost looks like a big brick. I'm gonna say it looks like a Borg ship, if you're a Trekkie. Uh, let's turn it on and see what she looks like. Now the Strix, uh, as I said, is my favorite uh, of all the cards for quality and, and performance. And it was in the 3000 series for lighting as well. I really liked the big light along the front. A little bit disappointed with this lighting system. This whole end piece is 
kind of neat, but yeah, still not super pumped with the lighting in any of the new 4000 series cards yet. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I'm sure I'll find one that I like, but okay. It is now on. This is booting. Uh, we can now see how it fits and, and compares against that 3080 um, or the, the 4080 FE. So yeah, let me take it downstairs. I'm gonna run some benchmarks, really see what this card is capable of, see how it compares to the 4080 FE to see if having an extra two inches of cooling makes a difference. All right, I'm back. I have been using this card all week and <sighs> I'm conflicted. The Strix has always been my, my favorite card. I mean, my first 3080 was a Strix. But I mean, do I, do I love this card? I mean, I didn't get rid of it. I mean, I, I was done benchmarking pretty quickly and, and, and I have a 4080 FE there and I didn't jump to switch it, but I, I mean, there's something sturdy and kind of strong and I, I, I don't know. Anyway, let's jump into the benchmarks and, and then we'll talk some more. So as you can see, uh, I mean, it outperformed the Zotac 4080 on, on all the tests, which I was a little bit surprised given that the, uh, the Zotac was the Trinity OC, I mean, not the AMP version, but it, it was still a, an upgraded version of their 4080, but the Strix still killed it. When you compare it to a 4090 FE, which this is the same price, we'll talk about that later, it actually held its own against the 4090. I mean, when you look at the benchmarks, with older tests such as Final Fantasy XIV, there's only a 10% difference. For newer tests such as Port Royale, it jumped to a 25-30% difference, which is what I expected to see the whole time. Okay, let's let's talk overclocking. So here, here's the setting. I was able to overclock uh, the core by 150 megahertz, uh, bringing it up to just over 3000 megahertz on the core. Uh, if I put it any more than that, the system would freeze up, but it was solid at 3015 megahertz, uh, really stable. As for the VRAM, I was able to push it plus 1700 megahertz, uh, but it was kind of half stable. So I dropped it down to plus 1500 and, and it was good, no problem. Which it can brought the VRAM up to, you know, 12,700 12, megahertz, uh, which was stable. I'll toss in the description below the exact value so you know, uh, but I'd love to hear how your Strix overclocks to find out if mine was uh, doing really well or yours did better. Please, please leave a comment down below. If, if you're digging this video, please leave me a thumbs up. It, I'm still a pretty new, small channel, so every like really helps. Okay, let's talk pricing. This is where I'm torn the most. When you compare this card to a 4090 FE, this card cost $1,550 USD, whereas a 4090 FE, which I've reviewed up here, is $1,600, it's a $50 difference. And actually, if you buy them in Canada, they're the same price. So very similar to the Supreme X and the Supreme X, or Supreme X Liquid, uh, the prices were sometimes the same, sometimes off by 50 bucks, but, but very similar. Anyway, as far as I'm concerned, a 4080 Strix and a 4090 FE is the same price. But what about a 4080 FE? I mean, a 4080 FE is $350 cheaper than this card. Oh, hey, Abby, what's up? So, I mean, now for $350, that's literally 30% cheaper than the Strix to get the same 4080 value. I mean, is it worth it? Do, are you gonna pay, if I had the choice between a 4080 or pay 30% more, I'd still get the 4090. Let me know where you're at. Team, you know, 4080 FE, 4080 Strix, or 4090 FE. So um, uh, when it comes to the thermals, the, this card here performed very similar to the Zotac. I mean, they're both 
monster cards with the length being pretty much identical. Uh, this Strix is longer by a millimeter. Um, the core value didn't go over 67 degrees Celsius and the VRAM on this guy topped out at around 70 degrees Celsius. Totally amazing. Um, I mean, that's, the Strix has always been amazing for the for thermals and just the quality of the VRAM modules. It, it worked really well and, and there's nothing different in this card. Uh, two thumbs up. Now when it comes to lighting, this card is okay. Um, I still prefer the 3000 series with the with the large strip. I mean, I do like the design of this, like a big box, kind of like a board ship. Yes, all new video cards look like spaceships. But the lighting, the lighting is, is pretty lackluster. I mean, it's just kind of this ring on the side and, and, and it, it shows up, you know, Republic of Gamers on the side. To me, uh, I mean, I'm I'm not a fan. Oh, and I, I mentioned it with the Zotac and pff, Asus has done it with this card and their Tough 4090, which I'm reviewing, is that when you, there's a red light near the 12 pin, the 12 volt power connection. Now, an Asus situation, it only turns on when you turn your computer off. So I don't know what that means. Hey, there's still power in the card. Uh, it doesn't matter whether the, you know, the actual adapter's plugged in or not. Uh, but as soon as you turn the power supply off, the light disappears. I don't know, I've said this before. Anytime I see a red light on something, I think it's bad. I think, oh my gosh, it's overheating or there's a problem. So design flaw, in my opinion. Okay, conclusion. Now, this 4080 Strix is by far one of the top highest end 4080 GPUs. Now, it is the same price as a 4090 FE. So this is where I'm torn. If you're into the design, maybe Asus is, is you know, you, you love Asus. For me, I think I'd rather have the performance, but I think it, it really comes down to I mean, who you are when you're buying this. I mean, if you if you want all Asus gear, if you want this massive statement of a card in your system, then, then maybe this is the right choice to go down with the 4080 instead of the 4090. Personally, I would go 4090. If you can get a 4090, I keep seeing comments of people comparing, saying, well, you can't compare the 4080 to 4090 because you can't find the 4090s. Two, I just picked up two more 4090s today from Best Buy. They just pop a Supreme X uh, and a Gaming X Trio. So two MSI cards, but keep looking. The 4090 stock are coming back. If you are looking, if you want a 4090, you can get one. But this is the Strix 4080 review. All in all, an awesome card. I have zero issues with it. It was solid. I played with it all week. And I highly recommend if you are looking for a high-end 4080, this is the card for you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like this content, please subscribe and stay tuned for the next one.